Sophia, there are so many apps on the Play Store. How are they made? Can I make any app? Yes, you can make your own app as there are so many app development softwares available. Please tell me about them. Okay, Romy. Let us learn about app development in this chapter. We are living in the digital era. Technology has made our lives easier and comfortable. We can perform many tasks such as shopping, paying bills, booking tickets etc. anytime, sitting anywhere from our mobile or computer, using the internet and through various apps available online. Let us know more about apps in this chapter. Introduction to apps. The word app is an abbreviation for application. It is an application program that can run through a web browser or even in an offline mode on our computer, phone, tablet or any other electronic device. It is designed to perform a specific function. For example, an app for shopping, an app for booking film tickets, etc. Nowadays, business persons and entrepreneurs are also launching various apps to promote and expand their business ventures. Different uses of apps. Almost every other business person or organization is launching an app for promoting their trading and business activities. But apps are not limited to this purpose only. There is a wide variety of apps available that can be used for various other purposes such as entertainment, communication, finding information, etc. Let us discuss some of the uses of such apps. Social media and communication. Such apps allow us to connect and stay active in the world of social networking all the time through our smartphone. Social media apps for social networking websites such as Facebook and Twitter are very common as well as specialized apps for checking the emails, connecting to our friends via instant messages and making calls using VOIP services. These apps are very popular. Games There is a wide range of gaming apps that we can download for our smartphone. All these apps depend on the model of the phone. We can find many educational games, action games, sports games, adventure games, etc. especially designed for the smartphones. Entertainment and Internet We can use the smartphone apps to make a list of our favorite websites. Most entertainment-enabled websites offer a version of their sites for mobile browsing, if not a full app. Some media services such as Hotstar, YouTube and Hulu allow us to stream media directly to our phone via app so that we can watch videos and listen to music anywhere. Information We can also download apps that can help us to find the information about any location. They also help us to check the weather, track our location via GPS, find restaurants and events in our area and even use services like Google Maps to get directions to where we are headed. We can also find apps to keep us updated with the latest news, track our stocks and handle our banking. Types of apps Depending on the platform used to run an app, they are divided into following three major categories desktop apps, mobile apps, web apps. Desktop apps. Desktop apps comprise of all the features of an application program. These are intended to run on a computer, that is, on the desktop or on the laptop, having keyboard, mouse and a display screen. Mobile apps. The mobile apps are simpler and easier to use versions as compared to desktop apps. They are intended to be accessed with a finger or stylus on the small screen. Web apps. The web apps require an internet connection and a browser program to run. These apps cannot run offline. Some examples of apps. To understand the types of apps in a clearer way, let us discuss some examples. Some apps exist in all the three forms. They are available as not only mobile apps but also desktop and web apps. 
For example, Adobe Photoshop Image Editor is a software program that runs on our computer, but Adobe Photoshop Sketch is a mobile app that lets us draw and paint from a portable device. It is a condensed version of the desktop application. The same is available as a web app called Adobe Photoshop Express Editor. Another example is the Microsoft Word. It is available for computers in its most advanced form but is also available on the web and via mobile app. Those two examples of apps exist in all the three app forms but that is not always the same for all. For example, we can access our Gmail messages through the official gmail.com website and the Gmail mobile app. But there is no desktop program on Google that lets us access our mail. In this case, Gmail is both a mobile and a web app, but not a desktop app. Developing an app. Now let us try to design our own app. There are many different app building softwares available online, using which we can create an app for free. But before we start creating an app, we need to plan for it first. The following are some guidelines that we need to follow before we start developing an app. Pick up an idea or a problem. The first step is to find out the purpose for which we want to develop an app. For example, we can develop an app for our school that may offer managing or performing different routine activities related to our school. Lay out the flow and features. Design the various features we want to have in our app on paper first before we actually start developing an app. While putting our idea down on paper, we should remember to be as detailed as possible. Include the flow of how the user will navigate the app as well as all the features envisioned. Remove non-core features. Try to be comprehensive and not vague. From the points of flow and features, try to reduce the non-core features. Add only core value of the app idea. Do not build features in the first version that can always be added later as an update. Put design first. Think about the design and try to frame and freeze it. Design is not just about how the app looks, but it is about how a user will experience the app. Choose suitable platform. Choose an appropriate platform to build the app. As stated earlier, there are various online websites that let us create and launch the app either for free or at a very nominal price. Choose a website first using which we would like to build our app. Creating an app. Let us try creating an app for a school using a platform available on the website https colon double slash ibuildapp.com slash. The steps to create an app are as follows. First, open the website https colon double slash ibuildapp.com slash using a web browser on the computer. The home page of the site will appear. Step 2. Click on Create an App button. We will get a list of apps. Step 3. Click on Category Education for which we want to develop an app. Step 4. A page Pick Educational App for your school or college will appear asking for picking up a template solution for our app. Choose an app for the school and click on Create option. Step 5. We will be prompted to either sign up using a Facebook or Google account. Choose a suitable option and sign in. Step 6. We will get the template page for designing the default layout for the app. For example, for school we must put information such as about us, timetable, school calendar, information about teachers, etc. Pick up, select, edit and customize the layout as per the need and choice. Step 7. After designing the app, now it's time to launch the app. The next page will ask us to first share the app. If we want to share it, choose a platform such as the Facebook, Twitter, etc. Else choose Not Now, Thank You. Step 8. Now click on the Publish to App Store option. Our app is ready 
and will be published to the App Store. Dictionary App Application Program Hybrid App It is a combination of desktop app and web app. App Store It is a type of digital distribution platform for computer software. Let's refresh. The word app is an abbreviation for application. App is an application program that can run through a web browser or even on an offline mode on our computer, phone, tablet or any other electronic device. Apps may or may not require a connection to the internet. A hybrid app is an app that is a combination of the desktop and the web app.